and the idea is to slap it on the way in the office but it's about it's a little bit out of my reach so i might have to get a little step stool or stand on my bear's head i got a little carved bear here it's a it's a silly little thing but often i forget to trade like a champion so number three hundred ninety-one thousand two fifty-five trade like a champion so what does that mean well on each trade just say am i trading like a, a, a champion is this a planned trade okay is this a f yeah trade like we talked about a couple of shows ago and if you're not feeling f yeah then don't take it and another thing which i'm going to probably talk about next week is when you go into a trade if that trade ahead of time okay of course you say okay if this trade fails miserably i would not care yeah i might drop an f-bomb but I know that there's a very good high probability that this trade might work. And I was kind of shocked when it didn't work out at first. But if I'd have stopped out and it failed miserably, I would have said, you know what? I would take the same setup again tomorrow. And we'll get into that in detail next week. But ask yourself, am I trading like a champion? And if you've been doing this for a while, you know whether or not you're trading like a champion. And that's the hard part. And that's where... That's where the ups and downs really come in because it's like you do stupid shit and you're like, why did I do that? Like, Paul, I know not to do these things, but I do them anyway. Now, at the end of each day, it's kind of like a kind of like an affirmation. OK, and then it's kind of like, am I doing what I affirmed? And then after that, do your postmortem. And I'm guilty of not doing that postmortem every day. And I really need to make sure I'm doing these things. And that's part of why. A lot of the stuff I tell you is stuff that's reminding me to do these things. Now, at the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, did I trade like a champion today? And I want you to notice that I didn't say, did you make money? You could trade like a champion and not make money. Shit happens, as I often say. But if you did what you were supposed to do, then you did the right thing. Linda Rasky talked about someone who was following a mechanical system. I forget his name. And at the end of every day, he would get his team together and say, how do we do following the system today? He didn't say, did we make money or did we not make money? He basically said, how do we do following the system? And a lot of professional traders who've had people like interns come in or whatever, if they make money and they did something stupid, they, they're likely to lose their job as opposed to doing the right thing and losing money and there's a lot of those little things in the turtle books specifically the way of the turtle i, I didn't re i think i don't think i've read coble's books on that i kind of felt like he was kind of taking from them whereas i read facebook well that was based on a recommendation from larry mcmillan but i read facebook because like he was an actual turtle okay i know face got his ups and downs but Anyway, but in there, they talk a lot about Dennis and how he treated people who did or did not follow the system. And in one case, uh, somebody didn't take a losing trade, and he was actually called in the office and asked why he didn't take the losing trade. And his argument was that he, if he's three pages into his analysis, he's found that usually it's not nothing worth trading. And so he, he quits at three pages, and that was his excuse. And it was... I don't know if Dennis believed him or not, but he was able to keep his job. Anyway, let's say you got a tiny little tick off the lows and something that's in an obvious downtrend. You've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of downside Landry light, and you decide to buy it here because it's done going down. So you think, right? Well, you end up bailing out at the lows. You obviously did not trade like a champion. And again, it, it is obvious when you're doing the wrong thing. And I'm kind of beating myself up here because I've, I've done the wrong thing lately a few times. I get a little full of myself. I do the wrong thing. I adjust and then start over. And it's a constant process. And you, you've got to constantly strive to get better and better and better, which sort of dovetails into our next point.